The other day I posted a video called Soul Diggers, and you can see how I look in this video. You can see how my eyes look. I notice my eyes, my complexion, everything, even the way I talk, my diction, the way I speak, the way I communicate. Now this video was just posted yesterday, just a day, just a day later, and immediately I look at my eyes, how they look different, my appearance looks different. You can see my face, I look different. My physical features are different. I'm speaking different. The way I act is different. I'm not as confident. And these are just day-by-day -day changes that has been taking effect since the Lord will let me know. He'd revealed to me that there was someone who had attached themselves to my soul many years ago. They've been holding on to my soul. Many people have, but this person has been holding on to my soul for a long time. As you can see, I've taken screenshots from the two different videos, just taking a day apart. You see how I look in this one? You see how I look in this one? My eyes are a lot bigger. I see the dark patch on the eye. And immediately when I see this picture, I immediately think of this photo of this little girl. This is the person who's been holding on to my soul for many years now. Many years, she's been holding on to my soul, her and along with other people. And I'm just showing the effects because see, I would pose and, and, and take videos, random videos of myself, just posing. And you can see how I'm posing, showing my behind and everything and just all in the camera. And I noticed that the Lord was showing me videos that I've seen of this person, how they like a lot of attention. They're always taking pictures. They're always posing in the camera. And they're always taking these videos of themselves. And these videos would be similar to the videos that you see of me. And you see, look at this video of this person doing the same exact thing. And this was taken within a year or so apart. These, pic these videos have been taken many months and maybe a year or so apart. But it's this woman who's holding on to my soul. She's just causing my characteristics, my behavior, everything, she's affecting it. Look at the pictures we're taking. And this is just to show you all, when someone's attached themselves to, their, to your soul, they can de detrimentally affect your behavior, your actions. You take on their sins, their personalities, things you're doing, and you don't even know why you're doing it. And this is why God said, let my people go. He talked about that in the book of Genesis. When you look at it, when God was telling Moses, to go and let tell Pharaoh to let my people go. I'm sorry, this is the book of the Exodus. God was telling Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. But Pharaoh would not let the people go. He kept them in bondage. They could not serve him. And so he destroyed them. It's like people want to hold on to your soul. They're trapping souls all over the place. And I'm showing the effects of this. And you all want mercy, but you won't let the souls go. You're still holding on to the souls and you're affecting the people. They can't really serve God because you're hindering them by holding on to their souls. You're putting your demonic spirits upon them. You're putting your characteristics, your behavior, your sins, your personalities. They cannot be who God has created them to be because you're holding on to them and entrapping them. Look at how I look. This picture was taken back in the summer of 2019. You see the dress I'm wearing, fully covered. It's covered all the way up to my legs. And I noticed my change of dress have started changing. You'd see this picture where this woman took probably about a year ago. And this is me in May of this year. You see how I'm dressed now with my boobs all out. It's affected my dress and everything. God let me know that she defiled me by attaching herself to my soul. She's defiled me. They're attaching themselves, unclean things, attaching themselves to something that is holy and righteous, that is of God. They're defiling the virtuosity of God's daughters. They're defiling and taking away the masculinity of God's sons. This is wicked. God said, let my people go. You will not be saved if you don't let go of his people. You cannot ask for mercy when you're holding on to his people and you're trapping the souls of his children.